we physicists have often wondered, are there signs of intelligent life in the galaxy? And if so, how advanced might they be? So we categorize these alien civilizations on the basis of energy, energy consumption. Type one would be planetary. They control the weather. They control anything planetary because they have the energy of a planet. Then there's type two. A type two civilization has exhausted the power of their planet and they use the sun. They basically take the energy from their sun to power their machines. Sort of like the Federation of Planets in Star Trek. Then there's type three, galactic. They roam the galactic space lanes. They play with black holes. Sort of like the empire of Empire Strikes Back. That would be a type three civilization. And then the question is, what are we? We are type zero. We get our energy from dead plants, oil and coal. We don't even rate on this scale. We have not attained planetary energy at all. But what would it take to move between universes, to enter a black hole, to break the light barrier? You would have to reach the energy of type three. This is called the Planck energy. The Planck energy is the energy of a black hole, is the energy of the Big Bang. It is the greatest energy in the universe. So how long before we can attain the Planck energy and move between universes? Well, a modest calculation shows that you would have to be about 100,000 years more advanced than us. Sorry about that. We now realize that these objects can travel up to Mach 20, 20 times the speed of sound. And they can even fly underwater, believe it or not, underwater, in the air, into outer space. And they zigzag. When you calculate the centrifugal force inside the rocket ship, you realize that any living thing would be crushed, crushed by the zigzagging of these objects, whatever they are. Now we have the data. Want to dive deeper? Become a Big Think member and join our members-only community, watch videos early, and unlock full interviews.